Hello, my favorite YouTubers. It is me once again, the Prince T, aka your Uncle G. You can see that I am actually in this group room just to do something more special for you. Actually, I'm trying to upload the new reactions that I'm going to, uh, that I have reacted ever since yesterday, you know. So, um, it's still uploading, but I decided to do a special reaction, you know. Uh, there was um, there was this video about Zlatan Ibrahimovic because Zlatan Ibrahimovic actually appeared on Jimmy Kimmel's show. It was about for two weeks ago, but I haven't watched it, so I decided to do the reaction anyway in this room uh, to see how things will be, you know. So. Um, I hope that that was an amazing interview. I know that I'm going to laugh so hard because this guy is just so hilarious. So without any further ado, let's watch. Since I am a huge Zlatan fan, I always follow Zlatan anywhere where he goes. Alright, here we go. The big... The big man himself is has arrived. Man, Jimmy Kimmel is tall also. Jimmy Kimmel is tall. Oh my god. He must be around uh, 6'2, I guess. Yeah, maybe 6'2. Thank you for coming. It's great to have you here. I, um, when you first got here, I was like, oh, we gotta have this guy on the show. And then I saw. I was, I was looking, looking at the LA, LA Times, Times and, and you took out, out an advertisement. <laughs> a lot of athletes would take out a full page ad. Usually when they leave, they thank the city you know, for everything. But you took one out um, to, as you, just as you got started, and it says, Dear Los Angeles, you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I wanted, I wanted to give them a gift, and then I was. Yeah. And I was thinking a long time, and, I, and then one day it came like I should give myself. <laughs> That's why it came up. You're welcome. You are, you're from Sweden, obviously. Um, you don't, and maybe this is just some weird preconceived notion, but you don't strike me as quintessentially Swedish. I know you are Swedish, but Swedes are not um, braggadocious in general, yes? They're too nice. They're too nice. They're too nice. Is that why you were asked to leave the country? No. <laughs> I'm not a typical Swedish guy, but I put Sweden on the map, so... Yeah! That's right, he put Sweden on the map. You have a lot of nicknames. I, I was going, I was reading through a bunch of your nicknames. Which one do you like? Like, is there one that you really feel strongly about? Mm. I mean, my name in, in the Balkan language, it means gold, so... I would prefer that, but... I know people, people have difficulties to pronounce it and that, so... Then somebody was like Ibla. People call me Ibla. So yeah, that's not a great name. Now he's the lion. So yeah, the lion. Lion is good, but you know what? Snoop Dogg already has lion. I think so. You have to like consider what's taken and what isn't. You could get sued. Who knows what could happen here? You know. I have a nickname idea for you. I want to run it by you and you tell me the Swedish fish. Oh no no no. Everyone loves Swedish fish here. I don't know what I mean, back home, you probably just call them fish, but here we call them those little red fish, and people are like, oh, yes, we love them so much. Uh, I like something more powerful. More powerful? Yeah. 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 What, is it? yeah. what is it? There's not anything more powerful than a Swedish fish. <laughs> All right, I'll come up with something else for you. You make something. Yeah. So, okay, so your first game, you score a goal. It was an amazing, I mean, a long... Mm -hmm. That's, that's, I mean, 
that's that's typical Abraham man. I mean, the way he I, he only scores beautiful goals. This guy, this guy is so amazing that you can't even start to cry because when he does the goals, it's just so pure amazing. Before you go out on the field, you have in your head, I am going to score in my first game. I, I mean, I had a vision before I come. I said when I come and. I know there is some earthquakes in Los Angeles, but this one, this one was me stepping in Los Angeles. So. <laughs> I, wanted to put, uh, I wanted to make a statement. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make a statement, and I mean, every movie has a good start. Yeah. Have you been surprised by? No, most movies are terrible. Yeah. But have you been, not this one. Have you been surprised? Because I know, by the way, you you scored in your first game with almost every team you've been with, which is a crazy statistic. Well, not go like this. Not like I'm this one. That was, one was special for, for Los Angeles. Have you been surprised <laughs> yeah. LA. by this reaction? And not just here in Los Angeles, but I know like you went to Chicago and it was crazy. Like You barely even were able to get out of the airport. Does that surprise Did you expect this in the United States? I mean, in Europe, the football is, is huge. Right. So wherever I went, it's, I mean, people, they get crazy and that. And people told me, when you come to Los Angeles, don't worry. You can walk on the streets and that, but since day one, no. Yeah. It's, it's everywhere. So, <laughs> and it's my own fault, because if you play the way I do, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a for you, man. Do you play other sports? Like, do you feel like you could have been a professional athlete playing basketball or? or I think my confidence is what people are talking is is very high. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. It's, my my mental part is uh, bulletproof. So whatever I would do, I would be the one I am today. So I'm just. Does does this I'm just like I chose football and uh, I'm sorry for the other fans that is cheering for the other sports because it would be the same thing. Are, <laughs> do you worry at all that your teammates will be uh, will, will feel like they're in your shadow? They will be offended by your confidence or by all the attention that you get. No, 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 no. I make them superstars just like I make you. <laughs> Making, making superstars just like that, man. This guy is crazy. Ah, uh, that's why, that's why I love Slutton, man. I mean, Slutton, the way he just talking, he always come up with something that is so good. I mean, this guy should be a comedian. He should be a comedian because if he was a stand-up comedy comedian, that would have suits him very well. He's really making credit to you. I'll make them big. <laughs> you know, there's been a lot of speculation about whether or not you will play in the World Cup. Are you going to play in the World Cup? Uh, I'm going to the World Cup, yes. <laughs> what will you be wearing at the World Cup? Will you have um, cleats on the bottom of your shoes or will they be regular shoes? I just said I'm going to the World Cup. If I say more, people will... Uh... They will hang me, so they I will. be careful what I say That now. seems like an extreme reaction to you wanting to play in a soccer match. I mean, a World Cup without me wouldn't be a World Cup, so... <laughs> <laughs> are you enjoying your time here in Los Angeles? I mean, people are very kindly with me, you see the audience there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. You know, you're not from here, you have to understand, it's very unusual to get this kind of enthusiasm for anything related to soccer. I mean, most for the most part here, soccer is a game we wish our kids didn't play, so we didn't have to go to it <laughs> on the weekend every hour. <laughs> you, you ain't trouble now, Jimmy. I don't see any of you out on the field on Saturday morning. Yeah. But, but you have really... Listen, listen, first of all, yes. soccer... Football, we call it in Europe. We call it soccer. Get used to it. So, <laughs> so we call it football. Yeah, and, right. Uh, football is the biggest sport in the world. It is, yes. I, 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 I understand. So imagine now when you play football and you're on the top, how you feel? The biggest sport and being the best player in the biggest sport has to be obviously the ultimate. Yeah, that's yeah. what I feel. Yeah. <laughs> You 
should give talks to people and just like, yeah. to just teach a, people to have self confidence because I really I'm feeling like more of a man just sitting right next to you. Yeah. So great, so great. Uh, so it's great to have you here. You. The Galaxy playing Atlanta United Saturday, New York Red Bulls on April. That's right, that's right. You want to see Zlatan? Zlatan is the correct pronunciation, yes? Zlatan. Thank you very much. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. <laughs> that's, that's Zlatan for you, man. I mean, that's definitely him. Yeah, you know, this guy is just unbelievable, man. I mean, already seven, seven million views already. Damn, I mean, Jimmy Kimmel doesn't play around with this stuff, man. Okay, but... <clears throat> Zlatan is definitely the greatest and uh, well he actually announced during this week that he's not going to play in the World Cup but he will go to Russia to support Sweden anyway but he's not going to play he's not going to play it's just such a shame because I was willing to see him to play for Sweden one more time but uh, unfortunately he says no no he is not going to play and um, well, I think that he's also doing the right thing because, uh, well, since he didn't play during the whole tournament, the whole campaign when Sweden qualified himself to, to the World Cup, he wasn't there, you know, so, and he also says that he was retiring after the uh, European uh, Championship in 2016, you know, when Sweden got eliminated, so... He was, um, but I think, I think that he should have tried at least one more time, you know, with this new coach, because I think that this new coach of Sweden is actually better than the the, the last one, you know, because the last one, Hamren, he was actually, he was only using the team based on Zlatan's team, you know, he was always putting Zlatan in the center. Of course that Zlatan is the main star, but football is not about one player only. It is about 11 players who are playing the football, you know, so it's not about Zlatan, it's not about one player only. And Zlatan also said this, said it once, I think, that he, he said, no, he's, he's not the, the main character, I mean, the, the whole team are, you know, so they are, they are supposed to do the team based on how the team is supposed to be structured, you know, because Sweden is actually a good, they, they have good players, man, they have good players, but not like Zlatan, Zlatan is like in a whole other level, but still, football is about 11 players who are playing, and 11 players, the, the best 11 player wins the game, so that's, that's how it is, so... Um, it's just such a shame we won't be able to see him because he's just a fun, funny character. I mean, he's a funny football player. This guy is definitely great. And um, we are going to miss him. We are going to miss him in the World Cup because he's definitely uh, one of the huge icons in football. Even though he, like I said before, he, he, he never won the Champions League. But for him, he says it doesn't matter anymore. He doesn't matter about it. So. The only thing he does is to do beautiful goals because the goals that he keeps scoring, no one can compare to his goals, man. You know the scorpion kick, the taekwondo kick, no one can compare to Zlatan with all those goals, man. This guy is just unbelievable. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on every social media where you can find me and do not forget to subscribe, subscribe, share, subscribe, share to your friends, to your family so that they can see me, so that they can watch me, so let's make it to 1000 subscribers, alright, because I'm willing, I hope that I can have 1000 subscribers before my mother's birthday that will be in September, before September I hope that I will have 1000 subscribers, so thank you very much. Enjoy. Peace.